I'm ready. Okay, I'll call this meeting to order. It is 1.30, Monday, September 30th, 2024, and we're here to discuss tax deeds. I have Commissioner Cassidy on the phone, and uh, do you want me to turn it over to the treasurer first, or do you want me to do that? Um, you can turn it over. Okay. So we went over a list of ta old tax deeded properties mm -hmm. that we were looking at maybe trying to get back out on the tax rolls and um, put them out in the county surplus. And we've looped Dan into the mix so he can go through the parcels and see if there's any potential problems. Okay. And this is one, the, the main parcel that we're here for is one that somebody would like to buy. Okay. But we need to discuss. Dan found an issue, a potential issue. Okay. So, like that. So yeah, we uh, she brought me these uh, cases to look at, and this particular one is uh, there's two properties uh, affected by uh, a bunch of properties affected by this covenant. But uh, along the backside or the southern edge of Smelterville is the Grouse Creek drainage area that was uh, eventually became a uh, remedy protection project. Mm -hmm. and so uh, through the through the DEQ and EPA, they went in and relined it and refixed it up and then uh, caged it off and fenced it off. But, and it affects a whole bunch of properties along there. And in particular, <coughs> this lot, block uh, track A and block 10, uh, lot 10, block 10, and there's another one. Um, the covenant that was placed on there by EPA and DEQ and the county uh, is, a, is a typical environmental covenant from them once a project goes through and, and somehow uh, hinders or, or, or places a, uh, an issue uh, you know, on, a, on a property. In this case, a significant portion of both these properties uh, is inundated with the creek itself in, in, the, in the channel area. And there's a small area left over between it and the adjacent parcel. And even one of the covenants, the, the way it curves and turns, uh, it encumbers a little small corner of this, this person, the, the, is it Miss Rose? Uh, it encumbers a portion of her property. Mm -hmm. So while it's not uh, per se illegal or, or nothing to, to own a piece of property with a covenant on it, uh, it's a similar conversation as we had with the railroad, you know, as far as the covenant that places the restriction of use on it. And so there is one of these, and it places a restriction of use and, 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 and then a requirement for maintenance. And uh, there's a, there's an agreement with the city of Smelterville to, to maintain it. And then these, this covenant grants DQ and EPA the ability to go in and maintain it, whoever they hire to have to maintain the creek if and when it has to happen. Well, in this particular case, this gal has petitioned uh, Carrie to the idea of purchasing this property so that she could push snow to this area. Uh, she lives in, in, in the property across, the, basically across the street from it, mm -hmm. um, and has expressed a desire to be able to push snow to this area. So I brought pictures and maps. This is the little strip of land that's between the creek area that, that, that's cordoned off by the fence, mm -hmm. and then this is the neighbor to the, to the north. That's the edge of their property. So there's this little strip of land on this map. This is where she lives. Mm -hmm. This is the strip of land we're talking about. And then this is the other lot we're talking about. That This creek goes right through here. And, and so it, it inhibits most of this property. Okay, so, now my question is, is um, <clears throat> it's, it's a separate tax deed? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so this wouldn't be an adjoining because her property doesn't adjoin it. It joins no. this person's property. Correct. Right. Yeah. And, and same with this lot over here. This is the next lot over that was uh, abandoned. At some point, we ended and up she with some taxes. Just no, no, no just the no, one here. Um, but so after doing the research, knowing that it was like half, you know, mostly covered with this creek, and what are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. um, that came up with the covenant. So in the covenant, there's some specific wording um, that 
in particular, it goes to the section of access and activity and use limitations. And by acceptance and record recordation of this environmental covenant, the grantor and any successor in interest with respect to the property are hereby restricted from using the property or any portion thereof now or any time in the future as specifically set forth below unless such use have been expressly approved in writing by the department, and the department being DEQ and EPA. And so it talks about the right of access. They, they have to preserve the ability to get in uh, to, and, and maintain the property. Uh, the next section is activity of use limitations. By acceptance and recognition of this instrument, grant toward any successors and in interest with respect to the property hereby restricted. Any portion thereof now in the future that will materially interfere with adversely affect the integrity of protectiveness of the remedy protection measures taken on the property. So we don't want to do anything that inhibits the the, the use and the viability no. that the protection that it's serving. No, no. So second question, real real fast, is uh, that's the reason why we have those EPA properties up on the river is so that we can manage who's not you know we can manage that to say no you can't do this you can't do that so now to some degree but if you're you're referring to the FEMA buyout mm -hmm. properties which are a totally different method of buying is it, it two different yeah, yeah. Two, okay. different, two different types of property ownership um, mm -hmm. kind of so these again I mean the the neighboring so this neighbor does there's an incumbent on the corner of her property because the creek comes over here oh, okay. on the edge of that so while it's not illegal to own it Okay. You're just limited to the use. You can't do anything with it, basically. Okay. So, and, and, and the, so the discussion was here is should we keep it? Should we allow it to be sold? Should we, or at least so everybody knows, if you're going to buy it, mm -hmm. here's what your restrictions are. So it begs the question, why would you need it if you can't store anything on it, you can't put anything on it, you can't use it like... Mm -hmm. So who would address the EQ? So for her the, purpose of... Sorry, Go I ahead. can't see, so I didn't mean to. No, no, that's okay. Go ahead, Tracy. No, but like her purpose of, was wanting to push the snow on it. Mm -hmm. Is that um, this something that's not allowed with this covenant and all that? It doesn't say it's not allowed, and, and I guess if it was snow, I would I would probably err on the side of let that be a city a smelterville issue of plowing snow off of H Street to that space. Uh, certainly, snow mm -hmm. comes and goes. And, and it's not and it doesn't block their either. access if they need to. Like it said, they need access if they it need potentially to. potentially could, you know, and you want to make sure you're not pushing that snow over into the creek because you're not allowed to push the snow you know, into the creek. Right. Would that be um, something okay. we should run by DEQ first to see if that's, or would that be her? If she owned it, she, she I mean. Well, who, what, what should happen before we, we go another step? Should she approach the EQ or... Should we approach the EQ to make sure that they're even going to allow what she's thinking she wants to use it for? I suppose some clarity of what the environmental covenant requires. I would say put it, on on her. Her. put it on her. Put it on her to determine that, and, and I guess it could be you know get some approval out of them. Uh, I think the covenant kind of it speaks for itself, but at the same time, it's sort of vague on what you mm -hmm. can and can't do. The ultimate point is you don't damage it and you don't block it off if they need to get to it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, certainly no permanent storage of stuff. And so I, I, I wondered then, is it is it you know reasonable for her to think to, and I don't need to speak for other people, but reasonable for her to own it is all they're going to do is store snow on it because really that could be a city function. And the city of Smeltable mm -hmm. could push snow. And she still has to, to then, maintain that, right? And then, yeah, I mean, she has to own it and... Mullet and, and I asked the city, it. and they says, well, they didn't have no interest, didn't even, don't use it for anything. And, and then, you know, they probably wouldn't want to own it any more than, than we do, but we're, we were obligated on it. And, uh, so here we are. So I guess my, my, my advice would be, you know, we take a stronger look at that or, or use this as, as a method for saying, you know, I think to say no to auctioning it off, but also accommodate her needs by working out something with the city to push snow over there, you know, mm -hmm. and, and coordinate that with the city on snow removal. And, and if that's what she, you know, needs it for, I think there's a way to accommodate that mm -hmm. without switching ownership and without okay. encumbering somebody else with it. Okay. So it, 
if it stays in the county's name, then the city's okay with her pushing snow across. And then if somebody gets hurt or something, is that a liability to us? It's a potential. Certainly there's that potential, or there's some reason for us to have to keep maintaining that it's being kept clear. Mm -hmm. But if, if, she, if she went to DEQ and asked them and they had no problem with her, like, say, just putting snow there for the winter mm -hmm. but not storing anything because it sounds like she can't do that. If they have approval, mm -hmm. wouldn't that be her responsibility to go to the city and make sure that they don't have no problems with her going across the street to plow? And then we would still be able to sell it to her? I would think so. Seems reasonable, yeah. I would think we'd put it on her yet to do that investigation. And right. And I, I kind of like to look at, see how this process goes, where we're we auctioning the land or we selling it to one owner and is there a, a public notice saying this is what this is and can somebody come back in and bid it up? And So this is just no different than the properties that we have left from our tax deed sale just the other week. Mm -hmm. And someone comes in and offers a, a price to buy it. It's just like that. You don't have so to. Auction, but we were in an auction, and that's what I'm wondering. These have all been through. Has this been auctioned yeah. before? Yes, it's already yeah. gone through the tax deed process yeah. and auctioned, and no one bought it. Okay. So we don't need to do that process again. No, but what I'm looking at is is when we when we have something like this, um, we notice if if we. If we can notice it out to whatever her bid is the opening bid and somebody else wanted it, or is this just first come, first serve? That's what I. It just considered okay. county surplus, and there should be a book and it listed on the website, like we're so, approaching to do. Yeah, the county and, surplus yeah. is actually, when we say county surplus, that means we auction it because that's. We've already. But it, it's yeah, already I, been up for auction. I, I understand that, but I want to make oh. sure that we're. Because it does seem because well, I think there's a notice process where a decision has to be made to sell it to her, and so the, okay. the public gets notice that they can come to that meeting for that decision. And if somebody else decided they wanted to get in on it, they, they could then start that okay. negotiation process. But we can only get neighbors. what we are owed on it for taxes. We can't get not anything. unless they offered you <laughs> more. And where would the more go if we had? Then, we then we would probably have to do the same thing that we do when we sell at tax deed auction and it goes to the state or any heirs. Oh, okay. But okay. it's already, and I'm not even sure about the heirs anymore because that time's come and gone. And yeah. now it's the counties and we've um, canceled all the taxes off of it. So oh, okay. I think our interest is, is just to really get what yeah, is owed. Yeah get what we have into it okay. and we're not in the code i don't believe you can have a second auction once it's gone through auction it's up for county surplus and someone right. can come in and offer to buy it mm -hmm. then that's where you guys entertain the offer decide if you want to take it or not mm -hmm. okay. yeah okay so what do we, we, we want to Check with DEQ first, or how? What do you want? It? What do we? I, don't, I, I mean, I, we can try that. I don't know what direct answer you might get out of DEQ, and so it's going to be on them to decide how they would answer that. I just don't readily know what DEQ would answer other than. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to give some sort of written approval for storage of snow, or if there's going to be that would. You're going to get them to approve something that's not in the addendum or not in the not in the covenant, and so. They're not going to come in and amend the covenant to say, oh, and snow storage. Mm -hmm. but, so I don't know if that's going to ever be clear on whether snow storage is okay mm -hmm. or not okay. And if it's okay, then are other things okay? Mm -hmm. um, and so that just makes the question. Okay. Yeah. I just like a little, little chance to, to run it by legal to see what our options are. Mm -hmm. And then um, we can continue this. If, if she wants to, we can continue this to next week. Sure. On, on making a decision on mm -hmm. selling the property, and See maybe if in the meantime, some more clarification. Yeah, and the maybe meantime. in the meantime, she could do her due diligence and go contact the e or the DEQ to see, and maybe the city, and the city, yeah, double check. 
Okay. Okay. Because she's not made a, she's just asked, she's, has she made a formal request to purchase? No. I don't think so. We're, yeah. we're all still in the due diligence part of yes. should we, could we, do we yes. have, you know, do we want to, do we not want to, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, I think we can. Because this, I don't do know when that was written. Our, you know, okay. Sorry. Have her go get some answers from the city and the DQ if she can get them. Because it was tax deeded in 83. Yeah, that's right. And I don't know when that was written or when that um, oh, yeah. drainage went in. 2013. Oh, 13. Oh, wow. So it went on afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the county's the signers. Which makes sense because it was in the county's name. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. I was just... <laughs> yeah, that's a long time ago. Which, so then whatever answer we come up with on this parcel, mm -hmm. we can also do with that other parcel. Because in that information I gave you guys, I gave a name, one or two names that mm -hmm. might be interested yeah. or live right next yeah. door. Okay. So we could approach them. Okay. And then you have that other parcel there. That she's talking about, mm -hmm. right? That's this one here. That's oh, okay. So you want to you want to try to get rid of both of these? I mean, she's only she's only interested in the one, but they both have the same problem. Okay, so maybe we can let the, clarify uh, all that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you want to give us a date next week? We'll just continue this sure. next week, and yeah. I'll ask some questions, and then. Have her and we'll some ask questions. Some questions okay. and, yeah, I can reach out to her okay. and have her do that. And so, uh, actually, you know, you see where those people are fencing, fen where, where they fence their yard off. They can't fence this off, right? And have it right there. It has to be completely okay. 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 So we'll continue it to next week. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Any questions? Nope. Commissioner Cassidy, do you have any? Were there other properties uh, you wanted to talk about? No. no. I'm good till next week. Okay. All right. Well, I'll adjourn the meeting.